The implosion of the Ocean Gate Titan submersible in June 2023 shocked the world. Five lives were lost in the depths of the Atlantic while visiting the Titanic wreckage. The tragedy exposed alleged deceptive practices and questionable safety standards within Ocean Gate. Coast Guard hearings revealed disturbing details about Ocean Gate's operations. The Titan tragedy highlighted the inherent risks of deep sea exploration. The investigation aimed to uncover the truth and prevent future tragedies. OceanGate employed a questionable tactic to circumvent regulations, designating paying passengers as mission specialists. These individuals, despite lacking any specialized training or expertise, were given seemingly important roles on the expedition. Carl Stanley, a fellow submersible operator, testified that the mission specialist title was a clear attempt to avoid U.S. regulations pertaining to passenger vessels. Passengers' duties included menial tasks like holding wrenches and counting fish, far from the specialized work the title implied. This deception allowed OceanGate to operate under less stringent regulations, bypassing the stricter safety requirements imposed on passenger vessels. The mission specialist designation effectively masked the true nature of the passengers' roles, portraying them as active participants in a scientific mission rather than paying tourists. This practice raised serious concerns about passenger safety and the integrity of OceanGate's operations. The Coast Guard investigation sought to determine the extent to which this deceptive tactic contributed to the Titan tragedy. Former OceanGate employee Amber Bay confirmed that passengers were labeled mission specialists and tasked with basic operational duties. However, they were not paid, received no company shares or benefits, and even paid substantial sums for the expedition. This raised questions about the legitimacy of the mission specialist designation and OceanGate's compliance with labor laws. The Coast Guard investigators questioned the true nature of the passengers' roles, given their lack of compensation and the substantial fees they paid. The hearings revealed regulatory gaps in the submersible industry, allowing companies like OceanGate to operate with less oversight. The lack of clear definitions and enforcement mechanisms created an environment where passenger safety could be compromised. The investigation sought to address these regulatory gaps and propose changes to improve safety standards. The Titan tragedy exposed the need for clearer regulations and stricter enforcement to protect passengers in the deep sea tourism industry. OceanGate co-founder Guillermo Sonline admitted the company intentionally avoided classifying the Titan as a passenger vessel to bypass stricter regulations and maintain profitability. This decision prioritized financial gain over passenger safety. They explored various options to avoid these regulations, including giving customers company shares or paying them a dollar to classify them as owners or crew. These attempts ultimately failed, leading to the mission specialist strategy. Sonline's admission highlighted OceanGate's willingness to exploit loopholes and prioritize profit over compliance. This disregard for established safety protocols raised serious concerns about the company's commitment to passenger well-being. The investigation aimed to determine the extent to which OceanGate's pursuit of profit contributed to the Titan implosion. The findings would inform future regulations and enforcement efforts to prevent similar tragedies. Section 5. Cracking Under Pressure, The Hull's Ominous Warning Carl Stanley recounted a concerning experience during a dive in an earlier version of the Titan, where he heard cracking sounds indicating the hull's failure under pressure. This incident raised serious questions about Ocean Gate's commitment to safety. He described the difficulty in determining the sub's descent, relying on the amplifying cracking sounds as a depth indicator. This alarming revelation exposed the inherent risks associated with the experimental carbon fiber hull. OceanGate's legal counsel questioned Stanley about CEO Stockton Rush's knowledge of the hull cracks. Stanley's inability to pinpoint when Rush became aware of the cracks left lingering questions about the company's response. The cracking hull served as a clear warning sign that the Titan was not fit for deep sea exploration. OceanGate's apparent disregard for this alarming indicator raised serious concerns about their risk assessment procedures and commitment to passenger safety. Section 6. Ignoring Standards – A Reckless Disregard for Safety OceanGate's decision to forego the standard classification process further highlighted its disregard for established safety protocols. 
classification involves rigorous inspections and collaboration with manufacturers during the design phase. This omission raised serious questions about OceanGate's commitment to safety. Classification ensures the vessel's structural integrity and adherence to industry best practices, providing an independent assessment of its seaworthiness. OceanGate's legal representative, Jane Schwetz, declined to comment on the mission specialist title, further fueling speculation about the company's attempts to evade regulations. This lack of transparency raised further concerns. The Coast Guard's Marine Board of Investigation conducted thorough hearings to uncover the truth behind the Titan implosion. Their findings would play a crucial role in shaping future regulations and improving safety standards in the submersible industry. Section 7. Seeking Answers. The Coast Guard's Quest for Truth. The Coast Guard hearings aim to determine the cause of the Titan implosion and prevent future tragedies. The investigation sought a comprehensive understanding of the events leading up to the disaster. Testimonies provided valuable insights into OceanGate's operations and safety practices. The investigation meticulously gathered evidence and analyzed data. It uncovered questionable decisions and regulatory loopholes. The final report would offer recommendations for improving safety regulations in deep sea tourism. Section 8. A Legacy of Risk Stockton Rush's Fatal Ambition Stanley described OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush's obsession with leaving a mark on history as a deep-sea explorer. This ambition, coupled with a disregard for established safety protocols, ultimately led to the tragic consequences. Rush's drive to push the boundaries of deep-sea exploration, while admirable, came at a significant cost. His willingness to take risks and circumvent regulations ultimately jeopardized the lives of those on board the Titan. The investigation revealed that Russia's pursuit of a legacy overshadowed his responsibility for passenger safety. His decisions, driven by ambition and a desire to innovate, ultimately resulted in a devastating loss of life. The Titan tragedy serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked ambition and the importance of prioritizing safety over personal legacy. Russia's pursuit of recognition ultimately came at the expense of the lives entrusted to his care. Section 9. Dreams and Deception – The Allure of the Titanic's Depths OceanGate's business model attracted individuals willing to pay a hefty price for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The mystique of the Titanic drew adventurers from around the world. Renata Rojas compared Rush to pioneering figures like Neil Armstrong. The Titan implosion highlighted the inherent risks of deep-sea exploration. The tragedy exposed the dark side of pursuing dreams, where ambition can overshadow human life. Responsible exploration must prioritize human life above all else. Section 10. The Aftermath Reforming Deep Sea Tourism The Titan tragedy prompted a wave of scrutiny and calls for reform within the deep sea tourism industry. The incident exposed the need for stricter regulations and greater oversight to ensure passenger safety. International regulatory bodies began reviewing existing safety standards and considering new measures to prevent similar tragedies. The industry faced a reckoning, forced to confront the inherent risks of deep-sea exploration. The families of the victims filed lawsuits against OceanGate, seeking accountability for the loss of their loved ones. The legal battles highlighted the need for greater transparency and corporate responsibility within the industry. The Titan implosion served as a wake-up call, prompting a much-needed conversation about the balance between exploration and safety. The industry's future hinges on its ability to learn from the tragedy and implement meaningful reforms. Section 11. A Call for Change – Protecting Lives in the Deep The Titan tragedy highlighted the urgent need for comprehensive reform within the deep-sea tourism industry. Protecting lives in the deep requires a multifaceted approach, encompassing stricter regulations, enhanced safety standards, and a cultural shift towards prioritizing human life above all else. International cooperation is crucial to establish universal safety protocols and ensure consistent oversight of deep-sea exploration activities. Collaboration between nations can help prevent regulatory loopholes and ensure accountability across the industry. Technological advancements can play a vital role in enhancing safety. Developing more robust submersible designs, incorporating advanced sensor technology, and improving communication systems can mitigate risks and enhance the chances of survival in the event of an emergency. Ultimately, the future of deep-sea tourism depends on a collective commitment to safety. 
Learning from the Titan tragedy and implementing meaningful changes is essential to protect lives and ensure responsible exploration of the ocean's depths.